Hi, welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break session with Jan. Now, in my last video, I showed you the unboxing of all the components of the Poly G series. Uh, and today, I want to actually show you how to build all the components. So, in case you receive your G series app, you got an idea which components you need where. Now, you can already get started very quickly eh, because you just need these two components. So you got your tiny compute, you got your GC8. So these are the components. Eh, this one on the table, this one goes under the table, behind the screen. Eh, if you got already a sort of plate to hide it, very easy. Then you can get started in like 10 minutes and eh, just unpack everything, hook it up, power it on walk through the setup and you're ready to go and uh, now we got additional power supply so we got a power supply for the gc8 so make sure you got a power socket uh, at, uh, at the table we have a power supply for the compute uh, of course also important and also we got this single cable between the gc8 uh, which is also a sort of hub uh, so it's got a usb uh, a connector also the hdmi in etc one cable will go back to the compute very robust uh, cable so as you will see it's also poly branded and uh, so you can see it right here very nice cable high quality uh, yeah fiber usb cable next generation and uh, so very robust so you use this for the long length and uh, so basic usb cables as usually a length of uh, three four meters this goes up to 10 and you can even go up to 25 so there's optionally even 40 and uh, so this is why these are really uh, specially designed for the longer distances so bigger rooms uh, for uh, you can easily put the touch panel anywhere on the table and uh, with these type of, uh, of cables so this comes along with the whole package now this is to get you started quickly and eh? but also what comes in this package is the VESA wall bracket and eh? so in this video I also want to show you where to use all those different components and how to put them together and eh? now let's get started so first of all the power supply so we need to put the power supply against the bracket and eh? so let me show you first uh, the bracket so here you go and as you can see here you see a marker and eh, so you know which side to uh, to put up you see also some different screws here eh, which uh, could be a little bit magic uh, in the in the beginning eh, but uh, i will show you actually where to use what and it's really easy so here will come the compute with the bracket we will have here the bracket with the power supply we have here a string to put uh, the cable also we got some holes here this is for the wall and uh, so you got here also some screws coming with this package uh, to easily put it against the wall now on the back side also some uh, screws uh, so it's very flexible there's a lot of options available to use for this bracket now we have also the front plate so this is the front plate uh, which will go over the bracket you can attach the bracket uh, under the table also against the wall uh, and it also looks very nice with this uh, yeah protection bracket on top of it now we got two brackets which we will do for the components uh, so we got one for the compute and one for the power supply now as i was showing you for the power supply we will use this bracket so make sure if you put this in the bracket you do it like this so you can attach here your power socket now in the bracket you see here you got some yeah some things sticking out there here some connectors and also here you see them so what i will do is you attach this right here slide it to the left and this will fix the power supply so very 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 easy eh? now let me put one screw in here so you will use this screw for fixing it up so there are two actually but yeah in the, for the 
sake of time, and I don't want to create a coffee tech break uh, screwdriver video. Uh, yeah, so this is it. So I did now one. So there is an, another one right here, uh, which you can put in there. Let me show you to make sure you got a good picture. Yeah, so you do the other one and that's ready to go. Now, here for the compute. So there's also some screws coming with this package. You see right here, these are these ones. And this is where you slide in that bracket for the compute. Let me put them on here. I will use the middle ones here eh, to, uh, to attach those screws. And in production, of course, eh, I recommend to use a screw driver eh, to make sure you can tidy them up very well. Okay, we got all the screws done now. So it's ready to receive uh, the, the bracket for the compute. Now, that is this one. As you can see, we just slide this one over the screws. Here you go. So now this one is ready to receive the compute. And so what we need to do, you grab the compute and we go here to the left side and we slide the compute right in here. And here you go. So we got the compute now here into that bracket. All right, now the next step is to tighten up the compute onto the bracket. So there's also some very small screws. You see here, these, are these ones, very small. Um, and I will try to show you where those screws are needed. You can see them right here. So you can just put them, as you can see them right here. So these screws will hold the compute. So I will not do both of them eh, in the sake of uh, time, <laughs> but I will show you. And so you can tighten up these smaller screws right there, which will hold the PC in the bracket eh, as you see them. So these are the smaller ones. Now, that is a one. So, eh, so in case the compute is then fixed to that bracket there. Eh. Now, then we have cable guiders. So just to guide the cables outside of wall plate, put them here to the left, and there's one here to the right side. And this is ready to guide, to show you that, uh, to guide the cables coming out of the compute, to guide them here to the outside. Uh, very, very nice. All right, now, bracket is ready. What we need to do now is make sure we prepare the front plate. So the front plate also needs to have some screws. You see here one is attached. And so what we need to do, we got these guys also coming in the package. Yeah? So we need to attach them here to all the corners. And we're ready to go. All right, and this is the front plate, and also it has the holes, which is very nice in the polypropeller uh, uh, branding. And those holes make sure that there's enough cooling uh, on this uh, wall mount bracket. Now, what we need to do is we touch. It should be falling right into this guy, and now it's ready. So of course, uh, you need to guide the cabling nicely. But it's now ready. As you can see, there's enough airflow and the cable holes to, uh, to guide it. Also on this side, uh, very, very nice. All right, so we put this under the table uh, or behind the screen uh, or in the cabinet. We put this guy on the table. And we use the long fiber USB cable from this guy to that guy, and you're ready to go. You boot it up, and it will go through the manual. I won't then do that in this video eh, because said I'm always trying to keep it within one or two uh, coffee share. In the next video, I will walk you 
through the whole setup. Now, a tip is if you got this underneath and you make sure that screw is a little bit loosened, what you then need to do is hold it like this so the screw will fall down. Just shake it a little bit, just a little bit, and then the plate comes off. And so very easy. So you see now it's ready to receive the cables. Very easy. And if you're finished, just put this one back and it will click. You tighten up with the screw and uh, you're ready to go. And this finishes up. Hopefully, as I said, that is very helpful in your environment. In the next Coffee Tech Break session, I will show you how to set it up and to walk you through the whole setup uh, of, uh, of the Teams Room system. Thanks for watching and hopefully I see you back in the, in the next video.